It's a safe looking staircase. Let's give this a go. Whoop. So I'm currently driving to Kosur Kalib. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, you guys might have noticed that I am without the 4x4 because it's in the garage getting fixed. <laughs> I'm with a very small VW Polo hire car. I mean, this isn't ideal for a two wheel drive. Ugh, why didn't the Romans put these archaeological sites more centrally? Anyway. Welcome to Gabor Kalib. <laughs> the road here was pretty bad, as you saw. And here's this massive piece of masonry on top of this hill. Doing a bit of reading, it seems like people don't really know what this was. So, lots of arguments. Uh, it might have been put here by Julius Caesar. Some sort of monument to winning the Civil War. Or it could be a Numidian sanctuary. Who knows? Either way, it's a lot of brickwork. I hope you all appreciate the length we're going to to GPS tag all of these monuments for you. This is the middle of nowhere. And that is Ksur Tual Zamel, I think. Yes, that's a mausoleum. Beyond that, I don't really know much about it, apart from it's quite difficult to find. So, let's go check it out. Signposted. We made it to the ruins of Zama Regia, or Zama Minor, which is a very significant archaeological site because people think it might be where the Battle of Zama happened during the Punic Wars. Um, and it's pretty busy around here. So for once I don't have the site all to myself, look, I've got two goat friends checking out the remains. Safe looking staircase. Let's give this a go. Whoop. This is the site of Zama Regia or Zama Minor. Ancient historians believe that this is the site of one of the most significant battles, not just in the ancient world, but I guess in, in the whole world. This is actually the site of the Battle of Zama in 202 BCE. Now, I teach this battle to my students. We do kind of a top 10 most significant battles in history, and this is one of the ones that we do. So this is part of the Second Punic War, and this is where Scipio Africanus defeated Hannibal and essentially secured control of the whole Mediterranean for the Roman Republic and crushed Carthage uh, as a power in the region. I mean, there was a third Punic War afterwards, but it was basically all over after Hannibal got defeated. After that, we all know what happens. Uh, the Republic turned into an empire, uh, eventually with Octavian becoming the first emperor, Emperor Augustus. But yeah, this is, uh, this is an incredible site. It had a big influence on the rise of the Roman Empire. I assume the battle would have happened down there somewhere. I mean, that's all flat. <laughs> that looks like a much more sensible place to get your horses and your elephants and your troops running around after each other than up here, which is kind of hilly. So I guess this was just the nearest settlement and that's why it was called the Battle of Zama. Unbelievable. Other tourists have arrived. Look, a, a car full of five people. That makes this, that makes this the busiest archeological site that I've visited so far. Look at how deep these ruins are. I'm up here, multiple stories down there. I guess they're still under excavation. 